name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another episode of Tips, Review, and Tutorial. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell all so you'll get notified every time I upload videos on app reviews, tech tutorials, teaching tips, and reading readiness. For today's video, this is our very first vlog or video about reading readiness. So might as well, I'm going to title this as the concept you need to understand before teaching reading at home. And what is that concept? The concept of experience is the key. So why am I launching my reading readiness series of vlogs. I have been a teacher for 13 years now, 8 years of which I spent in the preschool level. So I am sharing my knowledge based on experience since I have handled ages 1.9 as early as 1.9 until 3rd grade which is about 10 years old. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing the principle I use when I teach reading where you can download the booklet for whom the booklet is and how to use it even if you have not attended trainings or seminars or you have not watched videos about reading. So let's get down to business. So the first step to teach reading at home is of course based from my principle which is experience that is to let your kids experience letter recognition or letter sound recognition. That is the very basic of reading. They will hardly remember that the sound of A is A, but they will surely remember when you do any activity, whether it be pasting, painting, or coloring. Now you know why preschool teachers are very creative and animated as they can be because it is actually a need. This is how simple but complex teaching reading is. You give kids things and elements that they can remember or you do activities that will let them associate this to this. So experience is the key to teaching our little kids. It is not too much though because at the young age, as early as two, this is the time when they have a sponge brain. They can absorb as much as you teach them if they are ready and if they are familiar with the material. This is the peak of their absorption and retention and learning. So if there are 26 letters in the alphabet, then you may need to prepare 26 activities for them. So this is also the principle of teaching reading. You let your child experience reading. So I am releasing a booklet on teaching reading at home. It is a compilation of the materials I used way back 2008 up until now. However, this is like a fast track version because it won't have that much experience sometimes come up with activities that are relevant to the child um, or activities that interest the child so for example if you are teaching letter a in my booklet it says a is for apple but then you could use ant or you can use axe and sometimes if your child is inclined with toys like cars then you can use car to let him sound out k a r car. These little elements are also crucial to what we call their experience and this is what we refer to as teaching lessons based on a child's interest. I have a ton of resources. I'm going to share the link of these resources below so you can download it along with the booklet. So if you look at the title page, Teach Reading at Home, this is primarily for parents and teachers who may not have the time to compile or gather resources to teach reading in progression. So starting early with consistency and accuracy is the key to a good foundation. So the beginner's level, we have four parts. Part one is for letter sound recognition. Part two will be the two letter blend. Part three, three letter blend. And part four would be the application or the sentence reading. Now, in between the parts, I inserted sight words because 
um, remember at this time, this is the time when children absorb a lot. So teaching them sight words simultaneously with the foundations of reading, then gradually they will be able to read simple sentences when they combine these phonics with sight words. And there will be a notes section in in every lesson so that you can also monitor or track your child's progress and there will be a rewards chart for every part you can put a check mark a happy face or if you have stickers at home you may exchange five stickers with something that's more valuable to them um, this is also a material for students who may have been exposed before in their preschool level but then did not get the mastery that they need to be able to read simple to complex sentences so this uh, version of the booklet i will be launching is a fast track uh, version now if you want to deep dive in each of the lessons then you can you know pull out materials if you are on the lesson where you need to blend three letters like mat, m, at, then you can find activities that may go along with this activity. On the first part of the booklet, I have put the sounds that you as a parent or as a teacher need to understand before you um, deep dive into the lesson. So these are the stop sounds, the continuous sounds, and the tricky sounds. We are going to discuss the sounds on our next video, but for the meantime, um, for the legend, um, the dot or the circle means you point at the dot, you say the sound. Now, if it's an arrow, then you have to blend the whole letters to make a word. Let me just give you an overview. So, for example, on the first part, which is letter recognition, you have a is for apple. The sound of A is a, 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 apple. Um, I highly suggest that you print it out. Get the link below. You print it out, put it on a binder, and so you can easily access the pages. But if you don't have time to print it out, you can also purchase it through Amazon. I'm gonna also put the link below. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and grab a copy, please do so and give me some feedback. If you have questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Okay? Um, stay tuned for our next video. We are going to discuss the other parts of the book and the sounds that you need to learn before you actually teach blending. Okay? Bye!